War Thunder, is today's sponsor. Wow, for decades, free to play PKing has been a staple of the RuneScape community. And throughout the last 60 years, there has been two best in slot weapons that have dominated the scene. That being the Rune Scimitar, and the Rune Two Hander. And although these weapons do provide some of the hardest slaps in the streets, I want to take today, and show a little bit of respect, for the shitty rune weapons that nobody ever uses. That's right boys I'm talking about the rune mace, the rune sword, the rune dagger, and of course the shitty rune axe. Wow, all four of these rune weapons, are without a doubt massive piles of hot trash. That's why I was in great shock when I realized that the shitty rune mace and the shitty rune sword only hit one damage less than the rune scimitar. Followed up with being able to poke a 21 with a rune dagger, and a 22 with the rune axe. Now I will say, getting a kill with these weapons is far more difficult than one would expect. But when you manage to do it, you get twice the dopamine rush than you normally would. And to be honest, it's probably one of the most disrespectful things you could do in these free-to-play streets. Not only are you clapping your victim, but you are clapping him with the odds stacked against you. Which truly makes your opponent feel outmatched and outskilled. As you can see boys, this monk T cowboy was delivering the chops, but he underestimated the powers of my rune sword, and he got sat on his head like a rat. Good fight brother, that's what you get for pretending to be a woman in these wicked streets. Ha 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 wow. Now out of all of these shitty rune weapons I'm using in these videos, clobbering someone over the dome with the rune mace is by far my favorite. I personally have always looked at the rune mace as such a dumb and pointless weapon. So when I clobbered this hillbilly over the head with one, it truly brought great joy to my life. Sorry Mr. Purple Party Hat, but you just got clapped by the dumbest weapon in the game. Which in return, makes you the dumbest idiot, in the entire game. Oh would you look at that boys? A purple pea hat. Now we are rich boys now we are rich. Ha 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 wow. Now while I was live streaming on kick just the other day, I was doing some high risk death matching, with some high risk weapons. That's right boys. When was the last time you ever witnessed two chads going neck to neck with a rune axe? Honestly I don't think it's ever been done. Me and this ponytail chan were going blow for blow, and toe for toe with our rune axes. And not to mention, we had literal millions on the line. But unfortunately for us, ponytail chad was able to get the last chop, as he cut me down like an oak tree sending me to the lake at rapid speeds. Good fight brother, good fight. But I wasn't going to let that get me down, because right after we decided to have a rune maze death match, and this time, I was determined to clobber his head, especially because he had the audacity to fight me wearing those nasty piss stained yellow boots. Really bud? The boots? Have a little bit of respect bud. Once again this wannabe viking was delivering some massive chops to my chest. But in these free to play fights, things can turn around in just a matter of seconds. Well, maybe minutes. But you boys get the point. Just as Piss Boot McGee was about to deliver a devastating slash with his rune two-hander, I managed to counter attack at the last second, slashing a massive gash right into his wannabe viking chest. Good fight brother, good fight, but these shitty ass weapons aren't the only thing that can bring a good fight, which is why this video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and is available now for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. That's right boys, free. Take control of a vast array of over 2500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships representing 10 major nations. The vehicles span from biplanes and armored cars from the 1920s to modern day fighter jets and main battle tanks. My favorite part, is how realistic the PvP in this game is. Get smoked you clown get smoked, ha 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 ha. Little Johnnies think they are tough until they get filled with a thousand pound slug to the chest. 
immerse yourself in the savage combat scenarios of War Thunder, where highly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and authentic sound effects transport you to the forefront of the most potent war machines in contemporary history. Embark on the War Thunder adventure for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using the link provided in the video description or pinned comment. Whether you're a new player or returning after a six-month break, seize the limited time opportunity to snag an exclusive bonus pack. This pack includes premium vehicles, the unique Eagle of Valor Decorator, 100,000 Silver Lions, and 7 days of premium account access. Act fast and don't miss out on this special offer. And a huge thank you for the men and women over at War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Wow, it's the return of Turn Up 30. And I need everybody to follow these precise instructions. Go down to the gas station and purchase a carton of camel menthols. Now empty all of the tobacco onto one giant piece of construction paper. Roll it up boys roll it up into one massive cigarette. Now inhale boys inhale that smoke and swallow it. This is how you complete the Defender of Varrock in real life. Now as I was filming clips for this video, I kept getting harassed by this guy who was 20 levels higher who kept telling me to crap on his chest. Wow, I tried my best to ignore this clown, but after he kept talking that hot smoke, I decided enough was enough. You want me to crap on your chest you little freak? Fine, I swear boys these free to play PKers are some of the most disturbed individuals I have ever encountered in my entire life. Not only was this guy 20 levels higher than us, but he literally was trying to insult me by telling me to crap on his chest. Or maybe come on his chest. Not quite sure what these freaks are into. But if one thing is for sure, it's that this guy doesn't know how to read or write. As you can see boys this guy was trying way too hard to be good. He was trying all that new age crap where you run around and try to do all that tick manipulation garbage. Personally anyone I see doing this, is just a sad try hard rat. Real men back in my day stood face to face when we delivered arch ops. We didn't care about getting an advantage. We cared about respect, and authenticity, but now all they care about is someone grapping on their chest. Truly a sad time to be alive boys truly a sad and pathetic community, just as this dry hard hill Billy was running around like an idiot trying to get the upper hand, he got chopped down with a massive combo to the chest. Are you happy now bud? Are you happy I crapped on your skinny little chest? Jeez Lawis boys Lee's free to play streets are truly terrible. Alright boys let's show a little bit of love. For the crappy ass rune dagger. Me and this albino chad were doing a death match with only rune daggers and rune battle axes, and we were stabbing each other up worse than two men on a prison yard. The fact that an Addy sword is stronger than this rune dagger, is a true testament of how crap this weapon actually is. I can only imagine how painful it must have been getting repeatedly stabbed in the stomach by such a dull and rusty dagger. Oh shit boys no way. It appears that the tetanus from our rune dagger kicked it at the perfect time, as we delivered a massive bacterial infection to this albino's immune system. Making us a very, very rich man. Good fight brother may you rest with the bitches and the rats. Oh and of course this little rat tried to snake us for our loot. What a little rat. Now boys I just want to take a second, to pay homage to a massive chad in the community. After giving away 2 bill worth of items to his fans, the king of chads himself, skill specs, gave me 300 million coins. He told me he wanted me to keep 100 millions for myself, and to give the rest away to my savage goons. Truly what a freaking chad. So the next day I threw a party in fully, and my goons were more than thrilled. Freaking love you skilly and all my goons love you too my brother. Truly a chat amongst men.
Don't forget to check out War Thunder in the description below to get the massive bonus pack I mentioned earlier. It's free to play on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox.